Hi guys, Robin46 here, and welcome yourselves back to Valentino Rossi the game. Let's continue with career mode, and uh, we're at Catalonia, and we've changed team again. We've gone for the worst possible team in the game, the uh, suitor team, which um, Efren Vasquez is on. So let's go see what we can do on this. I'm not going to give him a head start whatsoever, just because I want to see what we can do on this bike before we start giving out some... Uh, some advantage so let's do this we haven't made any places up off the line which uh, isn't that great but uh, into the first corner get past quite a few of them as they get really slow we're in 23rd 22nd 29th 29th 19th I meant but we're in 17th now so we're almost in the points already of course we had some uh, tragedy happen here in real life this year with Louis Salon who is just ahead of us who sadly lost his life but we need to try and get up a bit further Sirens just come past he is our old teammate of course but we're gonna try and move forward a bit as we slide all over the place up the inside of Siren yes that works 17th place can we get up any further this bike isn't very quick at all it didn't handle too bad actually but it's just not quick Get past Marquez. I don't know what he's doing up so far. He's usually in the gravel at some point. Ooh. That didn't work. Need to get past Salon. We're in the points, so that's good. Go up the inside. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, through King Kent. So we're back down to 16th, so we're not in the points at the moment. Oh, slide in again. We may lose another place. No, we're not inside of a few, a couple of them anyway, but 14th place, the inside of some, nope, not going to work there, final corner, need to get a good exit out of here and then hopefully we can uh, get past Salon, oh, no we can't, because his bike's quicker than ours, let's get in the slip soon, see if we can outbreak him into the first corner on the brakes, leg out, no, that's not going to work around the outside. That will work though. So we're up to 13th, 12th. Agatha as well. Can we get him? 11th place. Nakagami's up next. Let's try and do this. Yes, we can. 10th place. So leader's not that far ahead, but it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Up the inside of uh, Cortese there. So we are 9th place. Struggling a little bit. Um, tyres are looking okay, but this bike is not good at all. Um, yeah, kind of struggling a bit. Usually I would be expecting to be, I don't know, in the top four at least right now, but we're not. Oh shit, almost crashed there, went into the back of Baldessari. That lost us a bit of drive. As we come round to the back straight. Come on. Definitely not close enough for the slipstream, but can we get up the inside on the brakes underneath Baldessari? Yes, we can. And Corsi as well. Nope. Maybe around this corner because they seem to go slow around this corner. If we can get good. Yes, we can. The inside of him and Luti. So we're now sixth. So we are getting there. We've only got one lap to go though, which uh, is not good. Right. Come on. Need to try and do this. So, sixth place. We've got a little bit of a gap up to fifth. We're just on the fastest lap, though. So, let's see if we can do another fastest lap and capture up to Morbidelli. To the first corner. A little bit wide there. That wasn't too good. Come on. Right, we're on the back of them. Can we take advantage and go underneath more Bedelli because it's going a bit wide? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're fifth place. Losers in the lead. But Folger up next. Up the inside of him. Yes, we can. So we're fourth. So we're almost with the leaders now, which is very good. Tyres are still looking okay. My rider energy is about halfway. I've gone wide though. We're going to lose a place. Folger's come back through. That's not good. Up the inside of Folger, yeah, going on a bit deep. They're gonna to have to push him wide, and we did. Folger's like holding us up here. 
because we've lost a bit of time to them. And we're running out of corners. Thanks a fucking lot, Folger. Thanks a fucking lot. Alright. I think, yeah, almost on the back of them. If we can get a good corner, corner speed run this next corner, then, oh, I don't know, actually. Not quite close enough. Maybe able to get Rins. No, not quite. Oh my god. We're going to finish off the podium up so... Rins, yes, we got him. Okay, so we're third. So, Lowe's and Zarko next. Can we get a good run out of here and get Zarko? I don't think so. Our bike is definitely not quick enough. We can get in his slipstream, but nothing's going to happen because the line is coming up now. Third place. I wonder what that's done to the championship because Lowe's won that, so he would have taken a shed load of points off of us. Right, so we set the fastest lap with third. Only just. Holy shit, it's come down to 13 points. Fuck. That's not looking good at the moment. We need to get some more points on lows. Otherwise, uh, we may be losing the championship lead sometime soon. Right, let's go on to the next one, which is um, more flat tracking. This time we're doing the uh, Rossi's Ranch, but in reverse, which I haven't done yet. So this could be quite interesting as well. I've just got to basically remember where the corners are, but do the opposite of what we usually do. So, we're up to fifth at the moment. Make that fourth, make that third, make that second. Then we've got to go right at the inside of Rossi. That kind of worked. Yeah, it did. We're first. Okay. This is such a mind fuck when you're used to a track going one way and then you've got to do it the other way. It's really weird. But uh, we're in the lead, so that's a good thing. we just got to try and remember which way we're going and not try and go the other way by accident. Otherwise, we're going to end up screwing it up. Come on. So the... Okay, so straight on. I'm glad that we have arrows sometimes, because otherwise I'd be getting really confused. And then are we going uphill now? Yeah, we're going uphill now. Okay. This is usually the downhill build, which is really fast. Not as fast uphill. Through here. And go right. And then we've got that quite tight right hander as well, which is usually left hander. Gone really wide there. That was a uh, <laughs> shit exit out of there. Ooh. Come on. Alright. There's a jump. Oh god, that's quite a tight corner that one actually. So now we go downhill again, and then this one you usually take about third gear. Um, that, that tightens up more than what you think as well, because it's a tight entrance and it opens up, you just don't think it's that tight. Alright. So we're in the lead by 1.1 seconds, which is good. And lap 2 or 3. A bit wide, but that's fine. We are ahead. Oh, we go I almost went up the hill then, which uh, would have been a mistake. So we're pulling away from second place a little bit. Quite a decent gap now. And the left hander. Right. Gap is 3.3 seconds over Morbidelli now. Oh, up here again. And then we'll come to the final sector of the track before we start our final lap. So far it's going alright. I was expecting it to go a lot worse in this because it is... It is kind of like learning a new track because it's all going the complete opposite way. Of course, you know roughly what the corners are like, but some of them feel completely different because you're going around them uh, the wrong way. Like, like I said, with that final corner, not final corner, second to last corner, and this one as well, it tightens up so much. And this one, because it usually starts tight then opens up, this one is quite open to begin with and then tightens up right at the end, so it's like a completely different characteristic of the corner. 
which is pretty good. I reckon they should do all the tracks in reverse. Do a... Do a, a double the uh, the season length and do every track twice and do, an, do them all normally and then all in reverse. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we're on the final lap. got a decent gap. I don't think we're going to lose this now, even though we've got white there, but that's fine. Yeah, some tracks in reverse would be awesome. Especially, like, if they went back to Laguna Seca and they had to go up the corkscrew instead of down it. That would be weird. <laughs> I remember one of the you know, old MotoGP games you could do tracks in reverse. I remember doing the corkscrew in reverse, and it did feel really weird. It's obviously... It's quite a fast entrance at the bottom, and then you're going quite slow up the corkscrew, but then you've got a fast exit as well because you start going downhill again. You should do that again, bring that back for MotoGP, especially for online races, that would make things so much different. All tracks in reverse would be, feel so much different to what they do normally. Oh shit, gonna get a penalty, fuck, point four, that's fine. We've got loads of time to play with. Uh, come on, we've only got a few corners left. Go left. Oh, went wide on that one. That's fine, because we've still got a massive lead. It's probably like four seconds now. I oh, don't know. Three. Still three seconds. That was better ram there. And then final corner. Nice and slow, good exit. And there it is, cross the line. And we've won that one, so next race will be back in Moto 2. Hopefully we can get some more points because we need some. Anyway guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you!